Hi everybody, it's Kayla, and welcome back to Fixer Up, where the show where I usually attempt to fix up your houses, but today, fix up this sad little apartment built by EA. I don't mean to call it sad, I love Penny Pizzazz, I love her apartment, but I wanted to renovate it and kind of reimagine what it would look like if if I were to be the one to build it. Like, I have this vision of Penny being this, like, mega famous social media star. Like, in my mind, Penny Pizzazz is, like, who's a, a rich beauty guru? Uh, uh, I don't know. Um, I wanted to say Laura Lee, but, like, yikes. Um, <laughs> but, like, you get the picture, right? Like, this mega rich, like, f celebrity model, fashion star. Like, she would have a gorgeous apartment, and this is just not it. So I wanted to renovate it today and kind of reimagine that. But let's give a quick tour so we have like a vibe that we're starting with. First of all, awful hallway, but I can't fix that. Also, shout out Tabby one time. What's up, best friend? But then in here we have, it's a pretty little small studio apartment. We've got her living room over here. I hate how the TV is in the middle of the room. This just doesn't make sense. That's just not a thing. The TV, it's not, it's, what is, does it float? What, like, what, what are you saying? There's, where are the plugs? Okay, anyway, the TV is just right there. We've got, you know, like a little area over here for like her dresser and mirror and stuff. This is her bedroom and office. We've got like a little hallway here. We've got her bathroom. And then we've got her little kitchen area with like a little tiny dining room table. I don't know, just this place feels very cluttered. Feels like it's not furnished well for a nice layout of the apartment. Like it's just not ideal. And I don't think that Penny is the type to have a place like this. And so in my mind, she has hired some expensive designer, me, to come and fix it for her. And so on that note, we're gonna go ahead and jump right on in to the renovation. Okay, so we are back and we are fixer uppering this apartment. That is right, you guys. It is my favorite time of the week. And also I've known I've also I know I've done like two apartment builds pretty recently, back to back fixer upper apartments, but I've had this idea where I want to rebuild and renovate every apartment in The Sims 4, like for all the townies. Cause I, I've done a lot of like bulldozing and kicking them out and making my own, but I'm doing now this reimagining of existing townie apartments and I'm having fun. So I wanted to do it again. <laughs> so I'm doing Penny Pizzazz's apartment today and I very drastically changed this one because in my mind, her apartment right now is like a very studio, small, kind of cheap looking place. And I wanted to turn into this like crazy, super modern black and white like beautiful apartment that she's had like some interior designer come and fix because she's supposed to be like this famous social media star like mr kate came in and did this for her and i built this on stream the other day like i was streaming while recording it and which by the way twitch.tv forward slash little simsy stream every single day <laughs> but my chat and i were like okay here's the deal right i know she likes a lot of bright colors and like bold things and stuff like that but also I think that black and white is like the most bold that you can go with a color scheme, isn't it? Because you can have like red something, but like if you're gonna go stark black and white and like only black and white, that's a very, very bold choice. So I think that it fits her. Like I think it's it's fitting. It might not be as like bright and crazy as she's into maybe, but also like it's, it's a reimagining of Penny Pizzazz, okay? And I like this version of her. <laughs> so she's got like the most expensive appliances. She has this beautiful apartment. It's still a studio, but like, you know, a little bit fancier. And look at those bold prints with the zebra print. Like that's still bold. She's still living her dream, okay? <laughs> but do you get the vibe I was going for? I don't know, I know it's different, but I thought it was kind of fun to do. I've had a lot of fun with this, this townie apartment thing. I recorded another one the other day, so I think you're gonna see another one of those like the week after next week. I've been doing a little bit of pre-recording, kind of for no reason, but also because I'm going to TwitchCon and like some stuff is happening this month, so I'm a little bit busy. So I'm trying to like pre-record some things and Apartments are good for that and these are fun. Also, I did a black wall. Look at that solid black paint on the wall. That's bold. All right <laughs> I'm trying things. I'm trying out new things. All right, but I love Penny Pizzazz now Like I don't know why I used to hate her. I thought she was an evil snake, but like she's growing on me We'll see what happens. <laughs> I don't know if I well, I don't think I love her But all the townies are growing on me speaking of things that are growing on me Yeah have we heard about terrain tools? That segue didn't make sense, but like terrain tools, yesterday Twitch, yesterday Twitch did a live stream, no? Yesterday The Sims did a live stream on Twitch and they did this Maxis Monthly thing where they came on and they were like, here's like a state of the Sims address and they're talking about like Sims Mobile and, and things like that. And then they ended it by teasing some new Sims 4 content. And so Sims 4 on PC, I mean, and they teased an update that's coming next month where they're gonna release a new active career, sort of like a city living career, but it's a fashion designer career. They call it a fashion influencer career. And it's kind of like the Sims 3 Ambitions one, 
but you can like make over sims in the town and it's a base game free update career coming next month and I am so excited about it but they were talking about it for a long time and then they kind of switched to another screen and then sim guru Kate the community manager starts talking about the game changer program which is like this influencer program that I'm part of it's like the people that get early access codes and go to events and things those are game changers for for EA and for the sims and so she starts talking about that people kind of tune out a little bit but as she's talking about game changers to SimGuru Ninja, SimGuru Romeo is sitting there, he bulldozes the lot, and he goes into the terrain tools, and he just starts working with them, and we're all like, blah 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 game changers, wait a minute! <laughs> and I did a video reacting to it, because they had warned us, like, hey guys, might want to react to this, and I was like, hmm, might as well film it. And so I was recording myself, and so you see me in the video, I posted it yesterday, I'll link it down below, but I'm just sitting there, and then I kind of, my eyes kind of like light up, and I'm like, wait a second, and then I realize, and I like freak out, because here's the thing, right? I love building in The Sims so much. I say this as I'm building an apartment, which requires no terrain tools or any kind of building at all, but like, I love building in The Sims so much. It's my favorite thing in the entire world. I do it all the time. And terrain tools are such a cool way to do more things. Like, it's just, it's a game changer, literally. Haha, <laughs> get it? Game changers. But like, I'm so excited about this. It's coming next month, and I kind of want to play Sims 3 again now and play with it again, because I wasn't really good at terrain manipulation in The Sims 3. Like, people built all these crazy, like, mountain houses and these cliffside houses, and I wasn't so good at that back in The Sims 3 days, but I kind of want to get good at it now so that I can be prepared for when <laughs> terrain tools come into The Sims 4 because, listen, I think there's a lot of pressure on me here to be good at that, and I don't think I am just yet, but I'm excited to try, okay? Because, listen, I have high hopes. I think that I'm a talented builder in some ways, maybe not with this. It takes time for us to adjust to these things, right? I'm not going to be good immediately, but like, I gotta practice, so. But I'm, I'm so excited about this. Like, I, I was talking about how I wanted more build features pretty recently, and I think it's because of the fact that I've built so much that I just, I'm always craving more. Like, and as far as gameplay stuff goes with the careers, I think the career thing is a great addition to the game. However, I personally don't think that we necessarily need more active careers. Here's my mindset. You can tell me in the comments if you disagree or not, but here's my opinion about careers in The Sims 4, right? I think that it matters less to me having active careers because I have accepted, as a person who plays The Sims, that careers are rabbit holes. Like, forever, careers have been rabbit holes. And we have a few that are exceptions, like Sims 3 Ambitions and, and Get to Work, but in general, careers are rabbit holes in The Sims. Like, your Sim, what that means is that your Sim just goes to work and you don't see them, they just go off and come back later. It's like school, they just go and then come back later. I've accepted that. And City Living added these, like, partially interactive careers that are more, like, like, like you can work from home and things like that, and that's great, but also, I wouldn't care if we didn't have that. Like, I think, in my mind, having, like, two interactive careers that are, like, really cool and, like, well thought out, that's awesome. But if you could have, like, ten that are just for the label, like, all I care about is the label of the career. Like, I don't necessarily need to actually go and be an engineer. Like, I don't feel the need to, like, have my sim work on that kind of thing. But having the label that's just, like, engineer, and then like 10 levels, they just progress up, like just so that I can say my sim has that to tell different stories because I don't care about being it, I just care about being able to say that my sim is that, you know? And like, teachers would be fun to actually be, but like just say my sim's a teacher or just say my sim is like a nurse or, or whatever, just having more labels is important to me. It's, I don't care about the actual interaction, right? Is that just me? But if we have the more labels, then we can do so many more things and it's so much easier to add like just the label type career than it is to add like a fully interactive one. So that's my opinion on that. However, it is fun to have interactive ones. I'm not saying I don't want them, but like if we could get more just label ones, that'd be fine too. <laughs> you know, like if they did, like they had a career update a while ago for the base game where they added like the business career or the fitness career. I think it was just those two. I don't remember, but they did like that career update. That was great because you add these two new careers and that was like awesome, super big fan you know? Because it just, it's the label. It adds more opportunity for telling stories. And that's the intent behind most of The Sims, in my mind at least, is they want to be able to tell stories. And with career labels, you can do that. But that's how I feel about those careers. <laughs> I'm getting all preachy, I don't mean to, but what do you guys think about that? Because obviously I'm not saying I don't want active ones, because I love the active careers, they're super fun. But like, I would love to have more careers, and I know that it's easier to make just label ones, and that's all I care about, is the label. 
I said the same thing so many times, but I've preached enough. You get my point. You understand. You know what I'm saying here. I just, I like talking about Sims theory like this. I should do that more often. Do you guys like it when I get into like Sims ranty opinions about the Sims 4? Should I talk about these things and builds more often? Because I mean, I got a lot of opinions. <laughs> I've been simming for a long time and I care a lot about the Sims 4. So, I mean, if you want to hear my, my two cents about some things, <laughs> would feel free to, would feel free to share would be totally okay sharing. Also, I'm recording this while streaming, you guys, and so I, I have to, you'll see some, like, random things of, like, my display capture coming up, like, my Twitch chat just then, and you'll see, like, some screenshot, like, light shot stuff coming up. That's because I was streaming, and so I had my OBS open twice. Like, I had OBS open once in my streaming collection and once in my recording collection, and I can't have, like, a game capture twice, as in I can't, like, only record my game and not my screen. So my, my stream is recording my game, and my... OBS for the video is recording my screen and so it doesn't make much sense if you don't know how OBS works But like basically usually I'd only record the game and not record all that extra stuff But because I'm recording twice basically I can't record the same thing twice And so in the video you see some random little bits and bobs about random PC things and I'm sorry about that But <laughs> it's okay. It's, it's just gonna happen occasionally, but speaking of which twitch <laughs> Follow me on Twitch. I'm getting close to 50,000 followers. Oh my god, I keep plugging it, but I'm really excited, so please follow me on Twitch. Shout out Twitch one time. I stream every day. I know that I talk about it all the time, but it's such a big part of my life that I feel the need to share it with you guys because we have so much fun there. I'm like, it's it's like YouTube and the interaction on YouTube, but <laughs> live. And I, it's not just reading your comments. It's me like reading and actually responding real time, like talking to you guys. We're all just hanging out for like three hours a day. We're like hanging out as friends. It's fantastic. And I know that it's annoying to keep plugging it, but like I want you guys to be able to experience our little community there because it's so fun. So if you want to come hang out, I'm live every day. Check it out, twitch.tv forward slash Simsy. Hey, but on that note, I'm going to go ahead and cut off right here, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day. And so I will see you all tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, everybody. I love Penny Pizzazz now. Like this version of Penny with this like high class glamorous apartment. I love that for her. I think this is fantastic. <laughs>